We're fired up. And that would be the ACLU and others fired up about the leaked Roe versus Wade decision that likely will undo a federal right to abortion and trigger a 1931 law that would make abortion in Michigan a crime. Fired up, really? We have the ability to proactively fight to, not just protect, but proactively fight to ensure that these rights are protected in our state constitution. The ACLU picked up 17,000 new volunteers since the leaked opinion. Yet the ACLU needs a minimum of 425,000 signatures by July 11th to have the voters in November decide to undo that 1931 law and therefore make abortion legal again in Michigan. But there's organized opposition. What do you say to the Catholic organizations, for example, that say that the real victims here are the unborn babies and they can't vote? Abortion is health care. And in a statement from the Archdiocese of Detroit, regardless of the outcomes in Washington or Lansing, the Archdiocese of Detroit will remain committed to standing up for the rights of all persons from conception to natural death. And we will continue to prioritize providing clear, realistic, and effective alternatives to abortion. If the vote was taken today, what would the outcome be? We know that Michigan voters overwhelmingly support a legal right to abortion. That is a Michigan value that has been consistent for decades and has been unwavering. However, the Archdiocese said in a statement that local churches must commit a major portion of resources to opposing this initiative. Now, the ACLU does not know how many signatures it has at this time, but the fight is on. This isn't something that the government should interfere with. Charlie Langton, Fox 2 News.